This is Twit. Andy and Ako stole my pick of the week, so I'll share this with you. Go ahead, Andy. Well, uh, we'll, we'll make a it a great pick of the week. There's, there's enough awesomeness one. in this. Yeah. Uh, Archive.org, uh, the Internet Archive has yeah. the holy uh, the holy task of preserving all creation, all knowledge, all humanity uh, in digital form in any form they can get it at. Uh, and for a while, they've had the ability to even preserve video games by having emulators for old arcade systems and old game platforms. Recently, however, just this month, they in, they introduced uh, in web browser Macintosh emulation. So they not it's not just they have uh, System Six, System Seven, Mac Write, Mac Paint, Dark Castle, uh, all the old games that you know and love. A lot of the old productivity stuff. Uh, the legendary Microsoft Basic that <laughs> was the first big turf fight between Apple and Microsoft over the future of reality. Uh, but you also you don't have to like. You go. You don't have to download all these emulators and these sort of not quite legal places to make it run. You just simply double click it, and within the web browser, it will launch an emulator, uh, tiny emulator because it's only a tiny Mac screen. And I'll be darned, it is the exact experience of booting up a Mac, seeing the the happy Mac, seeing it boot into the game. Your mouse uh, is the app is the uh, virtual Mac's mouse. Uh, it for gaming, it's a little bit hit or miss because some of the audio doesn't work quite right. But uh, Leo is playing Dark Castle right now, uh, and it will be such a nostalgia like bullet to the brain of uh, hearing these sounds and seeing these things like for the first time since 1986, 1987 for old timers. Uh, but even people who are you know, weren't a really uh, uh, mastering their ABCs back then, just to be able to play with Mac Paint and Mac Write uh, and see that, oh my God, you have to hold down the mouse button to keep the menus down. Like, oh my God. <laughs> uh, the only thing that could have made it better is that I can't figure. I don't think there is a way that you, you can you can write in Mac Write, and it's actually fast enough that you can it'll actually keep up with normal typing. Uh, I wish that there were some way to get the files out again because uh, it real again it's it literally is an emulated Mac with with virtual floppy disks. So you're booting off the fake Mac Write disk. Uh, you are double clicking on the Mac right icon to, to to create it. You are saving files and the files appear on that virtual disk. But when you shut down, of course, that disk goes away. There, I really wish there was a way that I could sort of drag it out of the emulator and onto something else because it would be – I, I have used uh, Mac emulators on Raspberry Pi uh, and those things are, are a lot of fun. Uh <laughs> It's, it would be kind of fun to just if I'm having this sort of day where I just need to distract myself and trick myself into working to say, you know what, I will spend today in Mac Wright in 1985, uh, and that's that's what that's going to be my work environment. Unfortunately, you, you can't Apple uh, Apple Talk there. If you go into the control panel, you can turn Apple Talk on and off, but there is no way that I can tell to get it to see the other computers on your network. Maybe that'll, maybe well, that'll happen on. sometime in the future. <laughs> I mean, how crazy do you want to get here? Apple Talk, you want Apple Talk to work? <laughs> I just, I just, I want the whole thing. I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to be just like fifty-two percent ridiculous. I want to be one hundred percent impractical and insane. I want to have this. I want to have everything. Yeah. And and I, I will also say that it's. I just love the idea of uh, just, just like a piece of music isn't doesn't become trash just because it's two hundred thirty years old and the. Uh, the culture that it was designed to entertain is long dead and buried. It's worthy of preservation so that people can still Completely listen to it because it, yeah. it, it, is, it is a piece of art. It's a piece of craftsmanship. And it's a, the expression of someone's worldview. And I think software is the exact same thing. So it really is wonderful that someone can, again, fire up Mac Paint. And maybe they don't understand why this was revolutionary at the time to be able to draw with a mouse and see black pixels on a white background. But th they will have at least some of the experience of what people went through uh, and what it was like for those people who survived the 80s. If I could just get these lemmings not to fall splat, I'd be uh, much happier. Gosh Aww. darn it. Aww. Oh, well. What's next, beer run? <laughs> they have, they have, oh, they, they, also have, they also have Shuffle, Pu Shuffle Puck, yeah. which was my favorite game of the entire 80s. I would 
Oh my God! Like the, the amount of exercise, the amount of exercise that Renee gets in Pokemon Go. That's how much exercise I got with Shuffle Puck, because it's it's air hockey and it uses like your mouse as your air hockey stick, and so you're actually sliding something on a flat surface just like you would. It responds to like putting English on the ball, and it was like, oh, I I, I would just I would play this game like in the student in my in the student computer lounge, and just be like standing up at this desk cursing the thing because I'm in full John McEnroe mode say no come on I hit that in time yeah anyway. by the way hypercard there's, there's also available if you boot up the uh, 7.0.1 oh, system yeah. compilation it has hypercard uh yeah. in it which is as well as shuffle puck in fact that we played shuffle puck on twit on uh, Sunday and it was so fun to see that again uh, Imagine but, how cool to be able to put to create your own disk files locally wouldn't that be nice? and then introduce them into yeah. their like like for hypercard to great be able to like load up your old hypercard stacks or save this anyway it's i'm looking forward to the evolution of this i think this is 100% uh, a, the great a, a great thing to happen in april uh, and it, it leaves me like throwing my wallet at the screen because i just want you people to have money you did wonderful things that made me happy jason scott gets credit for uh, at least uploading it and i presume for writing the emulation and this is the system 7 booting cannon fodder risk shuffle puck and uh, if I get the mouse to move, you can see that uh, HyperCard is also uh, in the app folder, as well as Mac Draw, Mac Paint, Microsoft Works. So this is like everything. This is like a, a compilation, uh, the System 7 uh, compilation. It's, yeah. Boy, it's fun to see this again. Isn't it, though? Yeah. Actually, maybe it's just a HyperCard player, not a HyperCard uh, creator. You like iPhone running in the holodeck one oh. day. Yeah. <laughs> Put this on an iPhone, I'd be well, that, happy. That would be HyperCard 2. So that's the Claris edition ah. i think they had a player i think they had a player in addition to hypercard regular so maybe there's another hypercard there. this one is nice because it has two hard drives you know yes, hard there drive. you go you got the, a, a whole eight a whole eight megabytes of storage <laughs> the other thing that's really great about this is it's not an april fool's joke right it, it's really doing <laughs> that's real. that it, it is april and it's it's uh, not a joke. It's for real. But Andy, I think what's going to come is they're going to uh, start a monthly subscription service, twelve ninety nine a month, and then you will be able to get your stuff in and out, just oh. like you were describing through the whole, you know, Apple Talk, you know, control panel or whatever they called it back then thing. But it's a, oh. a desk accessory, I believe it would be. Yeah, twelve ninety nine a month. Actually, yeah, Jason I, is I one of the about archivists. That on April first. Hey, oh, never mind. <laughs> 